Underneath the jacked up and secured ZD28, we have some bailing twine wrapped up on the blade. Now, because the cup is still intact and everything moves together, this really isn't the end of the world. It's not good to have in there, but it's not gonna be getting into the bearings or really hurting anything. So we'll cut that out because it does, you know, add drag from whipping through the air and it's just not a good thing. But that's not why the machine's in here today. This other blade doesn't have anything wrapped up on it. Uh, look at that. Notice this blade's not moving at all and that one kind of does its own thing. So remember in an old video, uh, I made this big deal about these spring washers and how important they are and they gotta be torqued just right. And if you overload the machine and they slip a little bit and they get cooked, then they lose their springiness and they don't work. Well, that's what we have here. The, the bolt is nice and tight. I mean, you notice when I move that, it's also moving the other blade. So it's not that the bolt is loose. It's that there's just too much space in here because those washers are now flat. They're not cone shaped like they should be. All right, let's see if we can get that bolt off. Take a look at those washers. There's everything. So the cup's broken. Oh, well, the bottom of the cup is gone. So that may be why there's too much room in there. The washers, comparing them to new ones. They're pretty flat. Uh, you can't really tell. Oh, that one's not completely flat. It's got some some of the oxidation colors, so it's they've been hot. They sound a little bit cooked compared to the new ones, but I guess actually the metal that's missing out of here is giving you some space. I'm going to replace the washers anyway. Now I got to see if we have a cup. The old washers have definitely flattened out compared to the new ones. Especially that one. They're not completely flat. They're not terrible, but I have replacements, so we're going to replace them. The cup started life looking like that. So what's in the middle, that's, that's taken away some space since that's disintegrated. Um, I found part of it stuck in the machine still, which I'm going to look at. Quick aside, it's so much fun working on machines that are dirty. Got all this grass that, you know, somebody could have gotten rid of because I'm laying down right here to work under it where all this stuff has fallen on my head and in my ears, and that's no fun. Part of the bottom of the cup is still stuck here. In focus, there it is. Um, because if you remember from the other video, and I'll show you when I get it out, this is actually recessed and there's a snap ring in there. But this is part of the, the missing metal that left that space so that the, spin, the, the blade could spin. I'm going to try to get this out and we'll see what's left underneath. We're getting there. See the snap ring hiding under there? Oh, let's see if I cut my fingers. Oh, there we go. Uh, and the snap ring looks a little displaced. The step ring's a little, little boogered up on the side. Um, I probably have a new one I can put in. I don't think it can come all the way out. I think it's kind of captured, but wouldn't hurt to put a new one in. There's still some metal stuck, friction welded to uh, 
to this plate. This is this is what the bearings are on the other side of in there. So I'm going to try to get as much of that as I can out so that there's a nice good smooth surface for contact with the blades and everything when it goes back in. Still can't account for all the, the metal that's missing. I mean there's a little bit here, there's a little bit here, but there's still some missing. Oh well, if it's gone it's not in my way now. I'm changing the blades uh, while I'm messing with things and this is the cup that I replaced in the last video where things were wrapped up. That was, I don't know, a month ago. Just showing the amount of damage this poor machine gets. I mean, the cup still works. It's not seized on there. But, you know, a month ago it was pristine. Like that one over there. Through the magic of editing, three new blades, one new cup, and a set of washers. All torqued to what? 85 foot pounds. It's kind of, I don't know, what you see is what you get. Important thing is the order, the bolt, the splined hub, spring washers, blade, and cup. I don't know that I can ever do a video of actually putting it all on because it's a, a two hand job putting it together and a two hand and one or two feet job torquing it. Because 85 foot pounds is a lot to be working upside down, jamming the blade with your foot. But that's what the end results should look like. And in a month, that one's, it'll look like that one. Oh well, what can you do? Time to set it back down. Remember, kids, high lift jacks are dangerous. Don't use them. Maybe this will work without dropping the jack for once. So first, we got to go up just a little bit because we've got to take this pin out. Now, the mower's in a super dangerous situation because if the jack falls, the whole thing's going to fall. Put her in down and start easing her down, making sure nothing's going to hit us if the jack falls out. Oh, we might make it. We made it. No sound of high lift jack clattering on the floor this time. So we still got to get this pin out, which maybe could have been done while it was up in the air, supported by the jack, but I don't like messing around with it when it's just hanging by the jack because high lift jacks are dangerous. Pins go back in their little storage area. And there she is. Good luck, little Mar. I know I'll see you before too long.